Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover and thank you for joining me in Kaiser Reich in which we're playing as that good old Feng Chong government. But right now, we are doing okay. We've got quite a few events though. Disorder at Baoding. Disturbing reports have begun to emerge from the Baoding Military Academy, which a company of our soldiers recently captured and occupied as a military target in which the enemy held up for over a week. Damage to the building was expected, as was some degree of looting, but few expected to hear of our own men killing one another with the spoils. Supposedly, the institution's store of medals and rank insignia was discovered shortly after its capture creating several declared colonels, majors, and generals, each belonging to a variety of self-awarded honorable orders. These men, completely ignorant of the actual stand granted by the regalia, began to fight over precedence. By the time troops arrived elsewhere to relieve the actual commander, the upstart soldiers had split into a number of cliques, occupying different parts of the academy, and several dozen were dead. There could only be one Grand Marshal. That sucks. Um, also, there's, another, there's a comment saying we should go conservative democracy, not authoritarian democracy. Uh, that's led by Liang Shiyi, a social conservative, so we'll see. I don't know. Well, definitely see, but... Denounced by the Beijing government. To the surprise of no one, the warlords who foolishly bet on Zili are denouncing our attempts to unite China under our banner, citing every ridiculous reason under heaven and earth to justify their allegations against us. If they aren't calling us warmongering criminals, they're accusing us of merely being Japanese cronies. Evidently, they're far more interested in bickering over what they lost when the Zili fell from the prominence rather than uniting China for the good of China. We expect no different. Japan demands the observer status. The Japanese ambassador recently contacted us with a polite but firm request to lead an observer delegation to the National Reunification Conference, insisting that they are merely intent to oversee the development of Asian affairs at this historic turning point. We, of course, will welcome our friends from Tokyo with open arms. Invite Song Qingling. The third wife of Dr. Sun Yat-sen, Song Qingling, has previously served as a leading figurehead for the left KMT and granted the movement her husband's legitimacy, even beyond his deathbed. With her organization military defeated, Song could pass the same legitimacy on to us, if at the cost of some concessions to her socialist ideals. Nonetheless, members of the Concordia Association, the communications clique, and even some of the old marshal's loyalists are urging us not to invite such a radical firebrand into our midst. Don't bother. Send the invite. Um, let's take a look here. So everyone but the Recovery League will lose. But it's not very much. Oh, uh, you know what? Screw it. We'll do it. Why not? So right now, um, we are currently doing establish the Zinzo, Jinzu Industrial Zone. So, yes. Which I believe I read yesterday, so if you want to read it again, please go right ahead. And then, we're probably going to go ahead and... Ooh, that wouldn't be too bad to do. I don't want to get more infantry equipment. And more, at least another the military factory, because we could use it already. But I do want to race down here as fast as possible. It removes backward industry, so... Uh, expand the Fushun mines. The mines of Fushun churn out nearly 11 million tons of coal per year with deposits promising to produce over 4.5 billion tons total. While some modern trains and ships in the West use oil, the Japanese Empire runs on coal, and the strategic significance of these mines cannot be understated. But right now, we're still trying to push through even though we are out of guns. Like, I've already made sure we lost a lot of guns, which is really bad, but whatever. You know, we'll do the best. They lodge a complaint. An official from the Japanese Embassy in Shenyang has lodged a formal complaint on behalf of the government in Tokyo, expressing displeasure with their decision to invite radical elements to the conference. He noted that Japan hopes this mistake will not lead to any disruptions in the otherwise cordial sino or Japanese relationship. Be that it may, we'll go ahead, gladly go ahead, with the matters as planned. Let them shout. Let them all shout from the rooftops if they have to. Nice. And we're trying to get over here so we can cut off Jinan. Eventually, so. Now, I guess she'll help out the attack here. And Shi Min would be good. Now, I want to get this stuff all done, at least taking out the Beijing government before we go to war Japan. Because I think we'll do okay. We won't do great. So, Anshan Iron and Steel has been a Sino Japanese joint company ever since its establishment in 1916, with both sides having a measure of control over its management, profits, and product. Now, Matetsu wants to buy the company and officially rename it Showa Steel. Supposedly, under the management, the operation will be more efficient and a measure of the profits and product will still make their way to our coffers. Um. Yeah, no. Nah. We aren't Japanese sellouts here. We'll expel Japanese officers later, but not yet. We gotta be strategic and smart about it. And be smart about how many guns we're using up right now, so. Uh, you guys go in here too. It's fine. You should be able to get this one done. Like, the delegates arrive. Delegates from Shandong, Yunnan, Xinjiang, and Shangxi have arrived in Beijing for a unification conference. Welcome! And I'm gonna start cutting down the number of divisions we have because we don't have any spare guns right now, so that definitely helps out. The National Unification Conference begins. With the arrival of the delegates, the Unification Conference has officially started with an opening ceremony benefiting such a landmark event. After a brief address by the old marshal himself, welcoming those attending and underscoring the importance of this historic gathering, the delegates took to their seats. While a promising start, the negotiations over the coming days will no doubt be challenging. Let's begin. And someone did ask if I could do this peacefully. Like, can we get these guys, you know, able to integrate peacefully? So we'll see. Honestly, these guys leave? The question of the Constitution. 
As the conference began, the first order of the day was the proposed creation of a new constitution. While it may not be what everyone wanted, it seems that something everyone could agree on, or at least very accept, as it clearly defines the rights, powers, and limitations sets on the government's branches. After some debate and a few proposed impediments, it seems like it's broadly being agreed upon. Some commentators have noted that the relative equanimity shown is a sign that, the f that few present plan to follow the constitution's actual tenets in the long term. The debate begins, and right now we can do this as well. Because we're not fighting Shang-Chi. Come on, guys, you got this. Yay. Song Qingling takes a floor. For the very presence of the conference, conver contro controversial. The KMT luminary speech was inevitably going to draw a lot of attention. Despite the total defeat of her organization in militarily, her late husband's legacy still carries with it the sympathies of many Republicans and intellectuals across the country, making her support a valuable commodity, especially for Zhang Zulim, who continues to seek external legitimacy. Predictably, Song Qingling denounced the inability of previous regimes to address the real wants and needs of the population and declared that any truly legitimate Chinese government must succeed where its predecessors fail. Her words drew some polite applause from other delegates, but there's no doubt that her eventual proposed reforms will prove controversial with the more conservative delegates. Let's see what she proposes. We have to break over the river somehow. And if we have to keep going down south first, that's fine with us. So actually, you guys are going to help, like, just force the attack through here, if possible. They're looking pretty weak. If we can, just go and do that. And keep these guys from moving, go in here too. The Samnin negotiations. Most warlords have had a shaky relationship with a with the ideology of Dr. Sun Yat-sen, both before and after his death in 25. Several, including Zhang Zulim, have at times claimed to be the inheritors of his legacy, keen to drawing support from his former adherents, despite their own indifference to the ideas themselves now. However, Zhang may have to pick a side a stick with it, and stick with it. Among Song Qingling's demands are the formal adoption of the Three Principles of the People, which in theory would force Zhang to turn it to, uh, his back on the Japanese, implement democratic reforms, and commit to widespread social programs. Reality suggests compromise is the only route forward, and fortunately the principles are open to interpretation. Already the Feng Xiang camp has indicated its willingness to support the first and third of the, uh, the principles, and the second is only nominally implemented. Zhang will promise to take a hard line with the Japanese, fund some of Song's welfare initiatives, and place his son Zhu Liang as the President of the Republic, so long as real power remains in his hands via the military. Hmm. Okay. Japan and Korea struggle with drought. Both Japan and Korea are experiencing severe drought conditions, which we have fortunately been spared, but their economies and people now suffer, and some live on the brink of starvation. The Japanese government has informally asked uh, that we take part in the program, which we provide rice to millet to Korea, which in turn will provide rice to Japan. However, this plan is somewhat confounded by the overwhelming success of Montetsu's soy agriculture initiative, which replaced fast tracks of rice plots with soy farming. As a result, we have nowhere near enough rice and millet to feed Korea, while our soy production remains key to our industry national international trade. This is a surprising turn for the typically aloof Japanese, but all the same. While we may refuse, we will most certainly be met with severe repercussions. Let's give them food for now. We don't want to be uh, saying we're going to get, abandon the Japanese just yet, so. We have to play the game of politics, whether we like it or not. Keep it intense. Order returns to the Zili province. After our troops swept across the Zili province, the majority of the population braced themselves for a wave of indiscriminate violence, but despite a few unavoidable incidents, our troops have largely kept to the code of conduct set up by Marshal Zane. Some stubborn figures have attributed this surprise to Feng Shun's advanced system of logistics, which reduced the need for our armies to live off the land, but instead of praising Zhang himself. Still, even though they cannot absorb results, and this performance will go a long way towards earning the nation's trust. At least, for now, it's over. The four principles of the people. Negotiations were tough, but in the end, both parties' willingness to compromise prevailed. The promised ascendancy of Zheng Zulim and his son Zhu Liang has been seen by conservatives as a sufficient safeguard against radicalism, and a sign that while times are changing, China's traditional values will be respected rather than uprooted. When all was said and done, the negotiations ended with a song expressing her gratitude towards Feng Shang for the willingness to cooperate and compromise. She has pledged her personal support for Zhu Lin's initiative to unify China, handing him a powerful tool with which to carry legitimacy on the national stage and a new automobile company. Thanks to Xinjiang's arsenal, regular production of the Minsheng truck, and our efforts to inquire, encourage Sino-Japanese cooperation, a group of communications click oligarchs have partnered with Jiaocha Cizhou Company, subsidiary of the Nihon Songyo Zaibatsu, to fund the creation of a new automobile factory in Fengchuan province, already a collection of young engineers mostly educated in Japan, are studying the prospects of more modern, consumer-oriented Minsheng-inspired models. Block the investment, good news. Uh, how strong is the Concordia administration? Uh, they're actually relatively strong. Imperial Fury, uh, uh, we'll keep, oh, the conference continues. With well, the most contentious national level issues dealt with, the conference is well on the way towards its conclusion. However, there remains various parties, conflicts, conflicting territorial claims, but, though. Oh, yes, we don't need to do this. These guys have more than we can now. There you go. Going here. Eight divisions is more than enough for that part. 
Uh, let's, let's shore you up a little closer to the front. We're going to attack immediately here. Pervasive monk to influence. Our factories rumble with activity, churning out weapons, supplies, and everyday conveniences at an astonishing rate. None of this would be possible without Japan, but whispers of uh, discontent abound. Who are we fighting for? China or Japan? Is the Republic really being strengthened, or instead brought to its knees by foreign ex exploitation? Is this truly necessary? I'm sure can this go. The conference members present their demands for deliberation. Let's see. All right, let's see here. Z uh, supporters. Participants. Demands autonomy. The Southern Feng Xian demands. The League of Eight... If East Chinese provinces demand autonomy. Let's do this one first. Let's see the wants autonomy exchange for supporting Feng Chong. Integrating will, will be costlier in the future. Um, They're so far away, though. If it's costlier, you know what? I'm okay with that. I'm okay with them. I just want to be able to circle some guys. Okay, so there's Xinjiang click declare support. Uh, they officially declare its support for the Fengxian government as a rightful ruler of China. Nice. The Concordia Association nominates a new minister. And Ruan Zenduo. So, uh, no. Just, just no. Here's the goal. So we're going to do this. I'm going to try to cut him off here and here. That's what we want to do. Go, 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 go. So cut these divisions off, kill them off if possible, and then break over to Zheng Zhu. So I think that'd be pretty good. Ooh, yeah. Excavation 3. Um, it is f not even 1940 yet. Not even 1940, which is good to see. Uh, we can get better engineers. Wouldn't be bad. Yeah, I might as well get some better engineers. We love engineers. Ball of Dublin, nice. Uh, Southern Fengshin demands. Uh, wants autonomy, very well. Costlier. You know what? Screw it. It gives us more influence and stuff like that. Why not? You guys are all... Tw oh, you're not even 20 combo with yet. Oh. The League of East Chinese Provinces officially declares its support for the Feng Chun government as the rightful ruler of China. No wonder you're not winning as much. You're, you're like, you're very tiny. Keep these guys in place. God dang it. Stop doing this. Hop out, hop out. Hey, at least we circled three divisions. That's better than nothing. Nice. This is for here, and they're looking very weak already. You just hold. Literally, go, get over there right now if you can. I need you to probably force the attack, honestly. Yeah, force it. You gotta go. You've got to go right now. Escalating the propaganda war. Already, the propaganda department is strenuously launching a devastating ideological barrage under which a aggressive Zealand regime must surely crack and crumble. The Grand Marshal has personally released several short speeches denouncing the Kaiser's puppet in Asia. Who she? Calling him lower than a dog for his cowardice and brazen collaboration with a Japanese intruder, and for selling the Chinese people to foreign interests. Just how much further can the illegitimate Zealand government bow before it topples? Southern reclamation is inevitable. Nice. Anything else here? We're not going to end the conference yet, but we're doing pretty okay. Request Japanese intervention? Nah. We're not that dumb. So we're using mostly cavalry and infantry, so this gives you a lot more stuff in general. I like more attack. But organization and supply consumption will be very good for the future as well, so. Sun Chi Chong? Or Wu Jun Sheng? More attack would be so nice. Or Yu Ji Shang? Well, your name's easy, at least for me to read. Sun Chi Chong? As nice as so. Thank you. Disgruntled army, that sucks, yeah. Um, we only need. Oh, we'll continue army reforms anyway. You know what? Screw it. Give me these guys. I know we need more guns in general, but like. It's gotta go, they gotta be 20 combo with. I'm sorry. Not really. No, I'm not sorry at all. They have to be 20 combo with right now. Get in there. Because if not, the Shang-Chi declared support uh, for the Fengxian government. Nice. Okay, so if you want to do that, we're going down here. What will you do two twice? Like, one of these two areas. They declared support for the Fengxian government. Nice. Thank you, Yunnan. Wow, everyone loves us. As they should love us. But your goal is to get literally all the way to Kaifeng. Yeah, you're not going to win down here then if you keep attacking us here. Nice. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Break over the river. I hate fighting over rivers. Come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I don't care how many horses we lose. You're not going to do this to us, you son of a gun. we got to break somewhere around this river. I swear to God. Somewhere over the river we're going to break over. Whether it's still here, here, or here, doesn't matter to me. Force it. Come on, come on. I know I don't like for using force attack. Actually, I like using force attack a lot. But one of these areas has got to go. 
deserves to rise up in Danming. While their uh, troops swept through the Zili province, they crushed a lot of signs of organized resistance, but sometimes resistance isn't so organized. Groups of deserters stemming from our enemy's former armies in our own have begun organizing in order to guard larger targets across Daming. Several trains in the vicinity of Shimem have come under attack and have caused our logis logisticians concerns due serious concerns due to the Jinhan's line's major strategic importance. Local garrisons will be, de will be mobilized to deal with the issue, but matters such as these behind our lines deserve a coordinated response. Traitors, a lot of them. Well, we can't literally do anything about that. So, we, we live, literally have to wait here still. Go in. Uh, it doesn't matter. You need somewhere to break over the river. And my god, just go. Go, 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 go. What's one more? Come on. Come on, man. Come on. Oh, we got it. Yay. Yay. Find the mines. But the Xinhu Industrial Zone. Xinhu's convenient location makes it excellent for our proposed industrial zone, and several groups have already begun jockeying for a dominant position in the development. Most notably, Montetsu's subsidiary, specializing in canning and light metal work. The communications clique who wants to establish a rolling stock company in the military, which insists that the zone must be used for munitions manufactured ahead of personal capitalistic gains. The situation is made somewhat unusual by the communications clique, who are usually able to confront quite a bit of money, and rumors suggest that several members are under pressure from the military to weaken their own bidding position. Montetsu, communications clique. Zane Cleek. Which was a, a communications clique is very weak. Um, the Zane Cleek is not very strong either. And we do need some military factories like right now. Like, so we'll choose them just because we literally need more guns. And to the Unification Conference Zone. Uh, Zhang Zulin has accomplished what many would call impossible. Though the world looked on as the conference attendants worked their way through the many sticking points, and to the surprise of many observers, both at home and abroad, the Chinese have managed to put their differences aside and unite for the common good of the country. <clears throat> At long last, there's finally a chance for most of China to know a lasting peace and unity after the hard work carried out by the many diplomats attending the conference. As the conference ended, pleasantries and formalities were exchanged. Some were happier than others with the deals that had been made, but everyone was aware that the history has been made. As the closing ceremony took place, the Feng Shen Marshal held a speech where he expressed sincerest gratitude to the participants for the hard work through the trials and tribulations that the conference had posed. Indeed. They all managed to prove that the world, to the world that the Chinese were able to come together, put their differences aside, and work for a better tomorrow. China is now closer than ever to being united, thanks to Zulin, <coughs> excuse me, Zhang Zulin's efforts and those of the delegates. Until Butcher may, has luckily been avoided as well. Nice, very awesome. Now attacking here is probably stupid still, but now we're going to be going this direction immediately, if possible. So nice. Ah, now look at this. Oh, good, good, good. It does help that like we're all attacking the same enemy, so. Nice. Go in there too. Take one guy and go there too. You guys stop attacking for now. Because we don't need any extra unnecessary casualties, so. What? Hey, at least we're united now. That's awesome. Uh, you guys can hold. You don't need to do that yet. Give us some time. And we lost. We've not lost that many guys. I'll be honest. We've really not lost. Um, calling these guys in would actually probably be beneficial as well. So, Oh, the Beijing government's almost gone. Look at that. Holy crap. Nice. And we will split this lens up with our allies too. So, No worries. Actually, go and do that. Here you go. Here you do. You know what? Full scale attack. The entire front. Because they are running out of supplies like us. But also, can't really do, mu do too much about it. So... Yes. Um, I'm going to say no first. Let's get this war first war done first, and then we'll come down now. But yeah. Infantry, I mean, honestly, like... Uh, artillery, I love artillery, but... You know, I'm going to max out organization. Because that helps everybody. Even though I don't really care much about organization rate, or reorganization rate, that's still good to do. <clears throat> and even though we're not winning up there, like... We just put a bunch of pressure on them. Mantetsu chose a boot construction collaboration and led to Japan's recent developments. Officials from Mantetsu's research wing have begun to collaborate with our own, providing new tools and best practices so that we may sooner achieve the same level of advancement. Nice. Getting food shipments to Japan. Wait, where can we do that? Oh, interests. Until the drought ends in Japan and Korea, we will be making large shipments of food and aid to them, unless we change our minds, of course. Select only select this decision if you wish to cut the shipments, otherwise, we'll proceed normally. If not selected, it's fine. <clears throat> it's fine. Let it, let it happen for now. We got bigger things to worry about right now. Good. Come on, they just gotta lose one more province and then, then they're done. 
And this, uh, honestly, like, we're losing a lot of guns by doing it like this, but we're getting a lot more army XP. So, it's definitely a cost that, I want, that we need to bear for now. Um, it just is what it is, you know? Because eventually we will have to fight the Japanese as well, so, yeah. Lead coffee! Ah, we're so close to the front lines! Go in here. That'll be better. Jinning. Excavation 1. It's almost 1940, so we're getting that one ready. Uh, ch nuclear China. Sh shall we? We shall. Hey, look at that. Beautiful. These guys are completely cut off. No supplies. The only supply base they have is Jinan. Yes, yes. No, no, not yet. We will get there, guys. We will get there. We've linked up with these guys, though, which is awesome, 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 awesome. 81 army XP is so good. So good. <clears throat> and even though we're not like, doing really well, Red Spears in Kangzu. Bands of Red Spears, peasant self defense units which are often a little better than bandits, have grown in size and strength across Kangzu recently, especially along the Zili Shandong border. As the new rulers of the area, we are expected to maintain peace and order, which has now been substantially disturbed. Several local garrisons have been attacked, villages burned, and towns raided. Forces have already been dispatched to deal with the issue, but a concerted effort to wipe out resistance in the rear areas behind our front lines is likely needed to deal with them permanently. Oh dear. Oh, oh dear. But yeah, they're starving now, which is good to see. And we're slowly pushing into here, too. How, how have they not been defeated yet? How are they still at 99%? We've only taken 40,000 losses. That I, Honestly, like, this is... We did this at the best time possible. Uh, get some better stuff. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, oh, oh boy. Go here. Go here. Seditious articles proliferate. <clears throat> An article in the Nihon Kogyo Shimbun, or Japan, and Dutch newspaper, has been translated into Chinese and spread widely in local newspapers before censorship officials managed to track and shut down the publisher. The article described in substantial detail the extensive degree to which Montetsu and other Japanese companies have established control over most sectors of our economy, and set a forecast predicting their complete control within five years' time. For obvious reasons, the articles have been deeply upsetting to the general population, as little we can do to prevent the existing copies circulating. Disgraceful. And communications click nominate a new economic minister. Lee, okay, we're wondering about that. Please go ahead. Lee Xiao Gang, I've heard before. Um, yeah, why not? That's fine. Can anything? Can anyone get anything done here with the amount of times we replace ministers? Like, it's kind of ridiculous, I'll be honest. Don't have Adrian Boone. Nice. Hey, Jinan is ours now. You know, it's theirs there, but whatever. Eh, we got him. We didn't get that many guns, but whatever. All right, so we'll split this up. We'll be nice. Shanxi, you can have the inner area for now. You know that. We're going to look really ugly here. And the League of East... Uh, I don't give them too much, but they do deserve some stuff, so... Eh, well, how'd you take all the rest? Oh, actually. Ooh. Did I give him the wrong... Okay. Da Ming. There's Da Ming right there. Yeah, Jing Zhao. Yeah, definitely that one. Nice. So now we can do from Beijing to the Begonia Leaf. If you're wondering about that again, please go right ahead. I remember reading that one yesterday. But the war's over, and but not really, because now we do have to fight this group down here. And boy, is this going to be a struggle. But when is it not a struggle? And to get the Zili province. Oh, we definitely want to do that one. Demobilize the economy. No, 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 no. Oh, look at that. The League of East Chinese provinces returned Fengshin lands. Oh, wait, what? Our allies in the League of East Chinese Provinces return some of our lands proper, proper to us. Proper lands to us. Okay, then. That's going to be nice, but okay. They... Great. Okay. Nice. Awesome. <laughs> I was going to be really nice and let them have it until we have to integrate them, but okay. Sure, why not? Um. Now we got plenty of guns. Like, oh my goodness. Because we got ready for the war against uh, Japan, but railway chaos in Zhengzhou. <clears throat> Apparently, as soon as their troops seize Zhengzhou, they descend on the railway station. Although it's the heart of the nation's railway network in war time, and perhaps due to our enemy's dogged attempts to defend it, the tracks were crowded with rolling stock, full to the brim with refugees' belongings and war material. Looting began with almost immediately, but fortunately, some of our officers were able to limit the activity, activity to only half the cars, with the officers themselves taking only a further quarter. Consequently, what might have turned into a logistical disaster, where rooted or looted rolling stock blocked the tracks for days, became a relatively orderly affair that left at least something behind for the city's residents. What's left? Bandits against bandits. 
Uh, our troops recently seized Luo Yang, alongside most of Henan's province and major cities, but securing the countryside has proven another matter. Banditry has, has a long history in Henan, and despite nearly a decade of Zili rule, this problem never truly went away. The majority were simply incorporated into Wu Paifu's armies. Now they're sweeping across the rural provinces, uh, rural regions, and having defected to our side, have begun claiming the spoils of a war they never won. Our own troops have stepped into quell the violence, but thoroughly combing Henan's hills and Riverside's will take time and energy, neither of which our troops will prefer to spend. In all likelihood, banditry or bandit activity will resume again sometime in the future, and everything's been already everything already stolen is now in the hands of our own troops. Bandits everywhere and victory in Wuhan. Chinese Republican Dream was born in Wuhan, and today we are its torch bearers. Fortunately, this seems to have been on the minds of our soldiers when entering the city, which survived the fighting re relatively unharmed, especially as the looting was, of course, limited. Uh, after fighting their way across northern China Plain, it seems our troops have begun to acknowledge the benefits of a grateful populace. Our army, consisting as it does of so many former bandits and vagabonds, may never change completely, but today's relative restraint is a step forward. To address to get the good news, our troops have recovered a stock of equipment for this now abandoned Hanyang arsenal. What a relief! Order returns to Henan province after some inevitable violence in a wave of all familiar, too familiar banditry. Henan has settled back into relative normality. The province is no stranger's tragedy, and so the relatively decent conduct of our troops throughout has turned some heads. Local business owners, landlords, and government officials appreciate our soldiers' restraint, and it's their support that will be essential to governing the province in the future. At least, it's over. And also, we probably need to get more planes too, but disaster of the day mines. Ore has been mined a day for over 2,000 years, and today, iron from its depths feeds into fires of modern industry in Wuhan, Hubei, or Hubei, and Lower Yangtze. This did nothing to stop our soldiers who, upon hearing rumors that gold was to be found there, plundered the mine in their disappointment at finding nothing of the sort and collapsed its entrance. Trapping over 100 miners inside, a rescue effort has been proposed, but such an expense is widely considered wasted on common laborers. Those responsible for the disaster, meanwhile, have, declared, have deserted and are nowhere to be found. Life is cheap? Oh boy. Begin rescue operations. And we're not attacking yet, just because I want to make sure guys are fully on the line before we do anything else, so... We'll get there. I'm not too worried about it, but we'll get there. Um... Yeah, it's not a really good place to attack. And I don't want to attack just willy-nilly, so. We can demobilize our economy by now. And we're also doing more army reforms, so. And we're doing the Beijing to the Begonia Leaf. So, unification by negotiation or unification by subjugation. We can't do this one, so if you want to about this one, please go ahead. Pursues divide and conquer strategy. It seems that Japan's long-standing claims the legitimacy of our government, not to mention fraternal Asian brotherhood. We're nothing more than lip service. They're now moving towards the divide and conquer strategy for all of China, our China. While it's a signal that war with them might come sooner than we think, <clears throat> it's also a damaged standing of the Concordia Association, giving us more room to maneuver. They will regret this. Oh, they will. Unification by negotiation. Since 1911, all attempts to truly unify China by the way of negotiation have been met with failure, as divides have proven insurmountable. However, after so many years of conflict and division, with Beijing now unquestionably in the Grand Marshal's hands, it may be possible to at least bring some of China's parties and factions to the negotiating table. Absolutely. All right, boys, we're in. Cool. And you know what? I don't want to do a general attack because that'd be suicidal. So you guys go here. Go here to here. If we can break over that river, that will probably be the most important thing we can do right now. Uh, I want you guys to go here. What the heck? What are you doing? You need to go in. Go in. You actually should be able to help break this province down. I'm not sure, so sure about this one. You might be able to, maybe, if we give it enough support. But if we get to Cha Shang, Cheng Sha, that would be really good as well, so. And we're to help with defending here too, so. Miners are rescued in day. Thanks to an old O and K steam shovel brought over by a neighboring mine, our soldiers were able to break through in time to rescue dozens of miners. Despite their initial reservations, the men seemed to feel that the heartfelt gratitude of the laborers and the families made it well worth the effort, and praised by a national newspaper has offset most political fallout from the disaster itself. To add to add to the positive turn of events, an assortment of weapons crates were brought up by the grateful miners, which had apparently been stashed during the enemy's retreat not long ago. One sweet, nice. You gotta help them out, man. You gotta help them out. Japanese investment in metals and minerals. Metals and minerals. After talks with the government representatives, the Sumit Sumitomo Zaibatsu has agreed to partially fund metals and mineral prospecting across Fengshan in return for a proportional share in any companies created to extract any resources discovered. With rumors of gold in the Qigong Mountains and Tungsten and Fengshan province, their investments seem likely to pan out. Good news? Imperial. F uh, how, how, how strong are they? Oh, they're very weak, so that's fine. I don't want any Imperial Fury yet. Worlders exist in Wu Yang. Composers. As they are of informal patronage networks, not all local power structures can be co-opted by our occupying forces. In this case, several local uh, warlords, formerly loyal to Wu Paifu, have seemingly taken offense at our policies and 
Ru Yang and sees a Gong Xiang arsenal at Xinyang. Despite their relative organization, the weapons from the arsenal, their troops are still too uh, few and too ill-equipped to combat our own on a large scale. But they are nonetheless force us to divert forces away from the front lines. We need a coherent response to the cases of resistance. Fools, all, all of them. Nice. You guys actually got over there. That's good. It's very good. Yeah, we should be able to win here. Um, I'm not going to attack any mounds here. That's that's just suicidal. Like, down here, just no. Just no. Oh, you're attacking us? Good. Oh, they're, oh god, they're over here too. Well, if that's the case, I will send you over here as fast as possible. You know what? I hope we can attack here anyways. Keep them in place if you can. Because just, just blindly attacking right now would be suicidal. It's just not a smart idea. Even though I would like to attack there, but eh, actually you could probably attack here and do well. Yeah, not bad. God dang it, the god over there. Are you kidding me? How? Oh, we broke over here. Nice. Oh, crap. Come on, man. The fall of Amsterdam? Screw these people. How much manpower and stuff do they have? Party Commune. Uh, four to 24 divisions. Have quite a few. Quite a few, yeah. Uh, do we have any spies? No, we should create an agency. Military and political executive office? All right, then. God dang it, I hate this piece of garbage so much. They wanted, they literally wanted war. This, this is their war that they wanted, so I don't know why they're not attacking more. Like, seriously, this is dumb. I hate this part so much. We don't have time for these stupid little games. You should be able to win there. Armored operations are nice. Uh, this one should be supply consumption. Yes. Good. Hey, we actually broke over, which is awesome. Uh, we don't have enough time to reorganize ourselves like that, so let's wait. Uh, honestly? Come here. We're going straight for the urban province. Z Zang Cleek. Oh, who is this? Tang Yu Lin has been nominated. Well, Zili Cleek. Not bad. Eh, why not? Yeah, so we are over there. Um, honestly, just go in. You should be able to... Division for division, our guys should be stronger. And they don't even have as much strength as they really honestly should have already, so. Get our guys a little bit more strength first. Uh, you guys are still attacking. Mm, still sort of winning-ish. Ish. Chong Day would be very nice to get. <sighs> Go in. They threw another division in here, which sucks, but whatever. If that's the case, we're coming in here too. Bandit sweep Guangzhou. The mounds around Jian have been home to bandits since time immemorial, but now these brigands have come down from the hills and begin preying on hapless travelers, undefended villages, and most importantly, our supply caravans. Due to their disuse and disorganized nature, bandits can be difficult to track down and eliminate permanently. To do so, we'll undoubtedly need a coordinated effort. Well, what are we waiting for? For me to finish with one of these goddamn focuses, so we can get down there and do that. We should be able to win there. I mean, I guess it's mounds, but still. Nice. That's good over there. We gotta win somewhere here. Like, come on, man. Alright, so also, J Japan's also at war with Indochina, which is fine with us, which is actually really good for us. Yeah, we need you somewhere closer than this, maybe. Yeah, that's not good. Not ideal. Hmm. Mountaineers. Yeah, you're not looking great. Get some Artie. We have more than enough to spare for Artie, so there you go. Make you even stronger. Where is our Mountaineer Divisions? Oh. Huh. Oh, I see someone over here. Hello. Just help us beat him up, beat him up, beat him up, beat him up, beat him up. How many divisions? I have two. We might be able to break through here because of boom, boom, boom. And circle, destroy. But, no, yes. <clears throat> Followed up with this one. We have to do this one. Suppress the bandits, collect the harvest. The last time soldiers of the Feng Jin army entered the North China Plain, some units were encouraged to suppress banditry and assist in collection of the seasonal harvest in return for lodgings and food, where such amenities were normally simply seized. These tactics seemed to have ameliorated a local unrest and partisan activity. All commanders would do well to follow this example. Immediately go in. Even if it's a single division, kill them off would be very beneficial. Oh, we actually won! Oh, we actually won! Look at that, nice. Oh, but you gotta, you gotta, you gotta go. Yeah, you, you, you can't wait. You gotta go over the river now, now, now. Oh, you actually made it nice. Good job, guys. Yeah, no, they're not going to stop us here. Oh, so good, so good. Yeah, don't worry about getting back. Horse boy, just go this way. If you want to go anywhere, just go this way. Nice. 
Okay, keep doing this stuff now, Colonel. Actually, what is our industry like? We have, we're building up a lot of civvies, which is nice, but still. So, start heading over there. Um, take one guy, go there. Take you two, go here. Yeah, they're running out of strength, which is nice to see. Oh, come on, man. You know what, they want to do that crap like that? Okay. God dang it. That sucks. You still might be able to win down here. Uh, oh! This will spare quite a few soldiers to help us out here. Nice. Mountaineers gotta die. They gotta die hard. And since everyone else is doing other stuff, here. You attack them when they're weak and they can't reinforce, so. Hey, they died! Yay! That sucks over here. So we can't do anything there. That's fine. Can't do anything there. That's fine. Whatever. We did the best we could. Um, yeah. There's too many divisions right there, so you gotta hold. So, overall, not too bad. Like, this has been... It could be a lot worse. It could be so much worse. Uh, I don't want to find in the mountains, but over here might not be too bad either. Mm, yeah, do this. Uh, go the other way, guys. We've lost 10,000, which is more than I expected. Hunan Click which should die, but you, know, you never know. Cairo pack, nice. What else do we have here? Let's cut food shipments. Oh, we're building a second army. Um, the card is Army XP. The Fengshan Second Army, called the Zili Army, due to its recruiting grounds in Zili Province, was one of Zing Zulin's premier fighting forces during the Zifeng Wars. The unit suffered a loss of leadership following the defection of Guo Song Ling in 25 and 28, as beleaguered soldiers found themselves stranded in Shandong. A subsequent peace saw this prestigious unit gradually disintegrate, as veterans enlisted with Zeng Zongcheng, left from Manchuria, or returned to the families of Zili. With North China again in our grasp, the time was coming to raise the Second Army's old banner and turn it to its name. Guns and such, huh? Not bad. Are you guys attacked? You know, you could probably win there too. Honestly, you could probably win there. Oh, it's extra support, of course. I don't want to take into mountains and forts. That's a really bad idea. And not of upgrades. I've not said that yet. No. Horse people should have upgrades, but whatever. Some of the horses are down there already. Nice, 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 nice. Please attack us some more, please. Please. You have our blessing. Horse boys, you're almost down there. We only... Actually, you're done. Go ahead. It's fine. Nice. Immediately take as much character as you possibly can. The infantry will catch up. Hopefully. You guys can do this. I know you can. Don't tell me you cannot. Oh, of course, we're getting attacked as well, which sucks, but whatever. Um, well, they want to attack. We'll give them a reason to attack, then. No, you should be able to win here. You should definitely be able to win here. You're going to win here. <laughs> don't care what happens. I really don't. One division, other guys get a little more organization first. And keep pushing down. The time is now to take territory. Depending on where these guys end up. So. There goes Serbia. These guys are fine over here. As long as we spread out a little bit more. Close up what we got around here. Because it just takes time. That's all it does. It literally just takes time. And Mao Tian. Go and do this area. So uproot some of their entrenchment. Form a department. Radio interception group is fine. Good. Good. We let the infantry come in here and then we'll keep spreading out a little bit more. Uh, do you guys. And I'm sorry this is taking a while, but you know, reclaiming China, it, it, it just generally takes a while. So. Finish army reforms. We'll definitely do that one next, hopefully. Good, and they're attacking us as well, which I'd love to see. Actually, we come right here. That'd be awesome if we just snipe that province. Let the infantry move around a little bit first. And then we'll probably actually be able to capitulate Hunan. Maybe we'll take Chongde. Right, so you're over there, which is good. Um, let our guys move around a little bit more. Actually, take the territory. Just take whatever we can right now. If we can attack right here, that'd be pretty darn awesome. And so go two more divisions would be awesome, 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 awesome sauce. But I don't know if we can. It is hills. Communications clique. Um, yeah, there you go. I don't even want to read that anymore. Yeah, we can't do that one. Darn it. Fine. It's five divisions. What do you expect? <clears throat> All right, so our allies are there anyways. Honestly, if we can move us down here and do this, you might as well. So... 
Okay, so now, now you only three divisions here. It's better than five. You should be able to win if there's only three. I know it's hills and all, but still. Oh, we get attack here. Is this mountains? Yeah, this is mountains. That sucks. Seventy-six is more promising. Fall of Bucharest. We don't really care about Asia right now, or Asia. We care about Asia, but not the other group. Nice. And do the reclamation more. Suppress bandits. No, it's at our questions. No buts about it. I'll send you in here too. Attack here. We're gonna win there. Attack here. We're gonna win here. Um. Take that out too. It's just slow going, but it's necessary. Slow going. Oh, you guys were huh? Two hundred, huh? Get a little organization first, and then we'll go back in. We did go with grand battle plan, so it's not the best, uh, you know, land auction, but it's honestly not that bad, especially for defense. Hey, look at that! Yes, yes, go in. Belgium's gone. It's only two divisions, but hey, I'd rather kill off two divisions and not kill them all. So, good, good, good. Happy forty, everybody. Let's get some more artillery. Yes, please. And they should be dead very, very, very soon. Nice. Good job, guys. So now. We're actually gonna come back. All right, we're gonna stay, stay right here and spread out this way. Get a little bit more of a choke point going here, if possible. Finish. Oh my gosh, we need so much more army XP. Japanese interests. Yeah, whatever it is, what it is. Go in. I thought we headed north. Um, I definitely want this tile, or we come here and they get take this tile, which is easier to take because they have three divisions over there. So nice. Oh, there's another one over here. Good. Radio interception. Nice. Keep going. Keep doing it. Come on. So we're going to swallow a bunch of divisions here. Um, can you immediately go in and just kill them all off? Attack from two sides. You guys get down here too. You might be able to break it. Oh, that'd be so good if we could. We're doing well there. Get some better fighters because we could definitely use better fighters. As they are attacking us, but still. <clears throat> And that is not any of my real concern. Get another division in there, we'll be fine. Oh, please, yes, yes, come on. Don't let them throw any more divisions in there. Come on. Oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. Oh, 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 come on. Oh, we got him. Oh, I, I want to go in so badly. I want to go in so badly, but we got to wait. Don't be too crazy, too crazy about it yet. We still have our own soldiers alive to think about right now. Give it a little bit of time, even though we're starving for supplies as well, but whatever. Go in. Now you can probably do okay here ish. Uh you guys stay there. You guys go in here. Hmm. There's no retreat for you guys, except for like the Hunan, but still. These guys are starving too, so. <clears throat> Can you actually win here? Maybe not. What if I threw you in here too? Yeah, you should be able to win with that one. Um, yeah, you should be able to do this too. You should be able to win here, especially if they're starving for supplies. So, and this gives more army XP, which is important. Good. This one's winning, and then we'll push over here a little bit more, or push into here, but probably over here first. You should not be able to hold out like this. You really should not. They must have went like Grand Battle Plan or something. I doubt they went Mass Assault, but still. Nice. The press Bandits. Collect the Harvest. Restore the Constitution. Oh, Zane Zulin retires. Oh. Okay. Gain National Gym is not bad. Uh, how about secure the rear areas? The North Plain, North China Plain has been seized, but has not been pacified. For now, the army controls only the railways in their immediate proximity, which bandits and partisans running wild beyond. China's a big country, and the rear areas must be thoroughly scoured in order to ensure an uncompromised advance towards the goal of national reunification. Absolutely. Immediately help out here. Like, I want you all, like, right here, right now. Just kill them off. How did can you not win here? <sighs> Fighting a land war in Asia just sucks so hard. I want to make these guys 40 combat, but that would be not smart to do. Put it over here. Our event looting, yeah. May lose national legitimacy, it's fine. Don't loot anymore. We actually have some positive uh, political power, look at that. God dang, you guys are pathetic and stupidly weak. Like, this is dumb. 
You should honestly easily be able to destroy these guys, but whatever. You know, whatever. Fine, so be it. Uh, cavalry expert. Uh, I like it more the tactics. So let's go with the tactics. We might upgrade these guys later on anyway, so. <clears throat> we'll see. Radio interception is fine. Grab that one too. Can, you, can we get these ex other Chinese divisions out of here? Like, this is costing us way too much supply right now. Go in. You should be able to win right here right now. Like, I don't understand why their attrition is not just eating them up some more. Because it's eating us up. I don't understand why it's not eating them up. And we're out of field, too, so. Riches. Eh, finish army reform. I'd love to do that one, but we can't do that yet. More than enough army XP. Let's get the rear areas. Um, diversify production. Commercial development would be nice. Restore the constitution. I'll continue the reclamation war. The natural the war natural reclamation did not end with the capture of Beijing. One by one, each of China's provinces must be brought to heel and the country once again unified. Of course. It just takes so long to kill these guys off. Why? And they're not even attacking. They went to war with these guys. They should be the ones attacking, man. They really should be the ones attacking. What the hell are you doing, son? No. These guys, not you. Uh, Concordia, appoint you? No. Nah. Not even going to bother reading that. So we're going to create another army, just like, kind of hanging out over here. For now. Because we want, in we have to integrate some of these provinces. We need more manpower too, so. You should be able to win. You should easily be able to win now. Hubai should have literally nothing. I'm going to put you down here for now. I don't want to see you guys. There you go. Keep going in. Come on. Good. Thank God. Oh, my goodness. Honestly, at this point, uh, why don't you all down here? Oh, they're actually attacking. Look at that, huh? You guys are going to be the ones surrounding these guys. Hopefully that helps with supply at least a little bit, but we'll see. Unfulfilled promises yet, huh? Nice. And any technology soon, hopefully... Uh, we're still building ourselves up, which is nice. Oh, nice. Good. Uh, throw in one more milli. Why not? Alright, after that one, what's next? Integrate the occupied territories. Industrial soy proposal. Our increased food exportation in order to counteract the drought currently facing the home isles in Korea has resulted in low provisions across Fengshan and considerable public upset. Some government ministers have proposed cutting food production of industrial soy, thus providing sufficient food but handicapping our civilian industry um, and some exports until the crisis is resolved. Cut it. I don't care. I don't care what Japan wants. Improved art is nice. Um, 40 still. Good radar, I guess. Can you guys actually win there, maybe? Maybe. The Baoja system. Integrated Chinese provinces as core states of the Fengshu government cost 10 power less. That's not a bad idea. The Baojia system is an ancient method of social organization and military recruitment. Zheng Zulin revived the practice several decades ago in the Northeast, and to great effect. But now the time has come to once again expand the system to the rest of China, where it's by and far largely fallen by the wayside. Complete 20 day fasters, that's nice. Oh, that's a black assumption, will be good as well. We'll see. Ching Day? Cheng Day? You guys actually win there too. That'd be awesome if you could. And this is an urban area, which is going to be a little more difficult to take, but still. Yeah, you might actually be able to win there, huh? Go figure. Four divisions there. Two divisions there. We really... Just kill off Hunan. We have to kill off Hunan. Nice. Attack Mongolia and Tibet. Nice. Proclaim the Republic of China would be cool. Incorporate local patronage networks. <clears throat> hey, finally. Thank God. Thank God that happened. Honestly, can we try a general attack, maybe? A lot of red, but still. Kill these guys off. I don't, you, you don't force the attack. Force these enemies to die. I'm not I'm not playing around with these guys anymore, man. Screw those guys. Like, there's a lot of red, but just wait for now. Over here, it's going a lot better than I thought it would, so... We'll see. And we need the army XP anyway, so... Um, anything else we really care about? Finish army reforms, of course, but we can't do them yet. Local networks. Unlock the following companies, gain the national gym see, broaden the Bing Zhan network. The Fengshan Army has long been renowned for its outstanding system of logistics, allowing its soldiers to receive regular rations and ammo where others are forced to forge, forge or steal from uh, you know, enemies. Our peasants. A key component of the system were the Bing Zhan or logistics depot, which now must be built in recently conquered areas. 
Yeah, you're going all the way in. I don't care what happens. You kill them off. Honestly, this is going a little better than I thought it would. Maybe? Maybe not. Hmm. Oh, it'd be smart to go right there. Nutrition salt's good. Land attack would be even better. Oh, do you have any divisions coming over here? Go, 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 go here if you can. My gosh, kill them off. Seriously, just kill them all off. Force the attack. Seriously, force the attack. Kill them all off. They're literally starving, and you can't even kill them off, man. That's pathetic. Um, so let's wait to do this one, expand the province, and then start coring them. So I think that'd be good. The drought ends. After months of hardship, the drought in Korea and Japan has ended. We're no longer expected to re render any aid to Japan and Korea. Finally. Yay. Come on, get in there, get in there, get in there, get in there, get in there. Bro, get in there. Well, Munich. Oh. Oh, look at that. Nice. You're literally going to go all in here right now. Doesn't matter to me. Hey, we actually encircled them. Nice job, guys. Go in. Kill them off. We're actually pushing really well down here. We could get encircled, but still. Yeah, we just need that army XP, though. Five divisions going to die. We've lost 54,000. The Republic of China is fake entity. Nice. No, oh, oh, those are really hurting us. Holy crap. Makes sense, though. Cool. You guys are done? No, you're not. You're never going to be done here. How many divisions do they have left? 32. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. But we're doing... Honestly, doing better than I thought we would. I was going to stop attacking, but it looks like... They might not have, not have enough divisions to help the entire front line, so... Yeah, we'll see. We can win right there. That actually would be very beneficial, especially with Mountaineers there. Yeah, that's smart. Encircle these guys, maybe? Come on, go, 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 go. Xiao Guan. Good. Yeah. Yeah. This is very costly. Especially in terms of guns. Oh, we got plenty of guns. We need way more support coins, though. Holy crap. Maybe that one first. Nice. But too bad they got this. That sucks. Hey, but this is pretty good, too. Nice job, guys. Communications clique. Uh, sure. Cow. It's fine, whatever. Oh, look at that. Look how weak these guys are. Should easily be able to beat them up. <clears throat> 330,000 died. Location ceases to supply troops. Pro Japanese but ostensibly neutral council in Shanghai has been secretly charged by our Japanese allies to deliver our ground troops with weapons smuggled across neutral zones. And they have done just that. Nice. Well, Guangzhou, welcome aboard. Nice. More divisions for the arm for the war for the army again for the future war against Japan. Come on, baby boys, grab it. You're still getting attacked, huh? He's going there then. <clears throat> the port of Canton has been taken, my friends. We've done it. We have absolutely done it. Apologies, it takes so long to do, but my goodness. How did you do the most? There, you guys can take that stuff. I don't want that one. Uh, uh, you can have that then. Uh, Yunnan? They might still give us this stuff anyway, so. You never know. Sorry, Xinjiang, but it would look really bad if you took this off, so. Nice. Well. Actually, throw you guys now here. This is going to be a god awful war if we have to fight Mongolia. But we're going to have to anyway, so. But, with you guys up here, it might not be too bad. We'll claim the Republic of China. Attack Mongolia. Do we want to proclaim it right now, or do we want to wait? Um, I'm more of a cavalry guy here, but... You know what? doesn't really matter. Ambush her anyways. Not bad. Mm. 
You know, oh, there you go. Great. Oh, Empire of Japan's right there. Not bad. Oh, wow, look at all that. Another operative. Effectiveness, nice. You learn about everything they have already. I'll just send both there. Um, yeah, I want to put him after we do this one. Because 10 less political power would be super important. So, yeah, and after this one, we'll get this one. Would be good. Restore the Constitution. Maturing model cities would be nice as well. Gain that national legitimacy and stuff like that. One army, one republic, huh? Traditional command structure. Not bad. Not bad. Get our guys in the place because I we are going to dismantle Mongolia. Roman von Ungarn Steinberg has a lot of manpower. Quite a few divisions, but hopefully we do okay here. Nice. There we go. So now, this costs a little bit more. A little less, I should say. A little less. Um, probably Zeelik province is probably the best one to do. It's going to take a long time to do that, but that's okay. Uh, this one, yeah. So now, are we, are we good to go? Ready to storm across the plains here? And uh, attack Mongolia? Yeah, just go and get ready. Oh! Well, that was a waste of political power then. Our guys are not quite there yet, but good. anyways, if we can, it's fine. Uh, what? No, you ding dongs. Take only one of you and do that. There you go. Um, should I do this now? Or should I do this later? I kind of want to do it now, but I don't, want, I don't think it'll change the focus tree, will it? Probably not, right? Call of allies in. Oh, we're fighting Tibet too. Oh. Oh, our guys are not ready for that. Oh, we're definitely not ready for that. You know what? Screw it. Focus on these guys first. If we lose these guys, that's why we want, we're going to cover Beijing first. I don't want to proclaim the Republic of China because that could. Will that cause the Japanese to attack us? I don't want them to attack us yet. So. Oh no, you don't, son. Nice. Good. You guys force attack maybe? No, you're probably going to lose. Hold on there for now. Nice, actually one there. Not bad. Could be better, but whatever. Go around him. Oh, we'll focus on the bed after this one too, so. Take that one too. That'd be good. Oh uh, yeah, I, someone's going to say like, you could use uh, your puppet's manpower. I'm like, eh, I don't think they really are puppets, but I don't really care too much right now. Oh, Sudan. Oh, what is it, what's Europe looking like? It's not looking good for the Germans, now is it? But then again, they, they do have... Holy crap, never mind. Holy smoky fathers, the Russian Socialist Republic is not doing that well. That's a lot better than I thought they were doing. Yeah, the Germans could just hold on with the Austrians and destroy these guys. Yeah, destroy those guys. They could probably, they might be able to destroy Russia. Holy crap, that's intense. Oh, but, holy crap. Fall of Warsaw too. Nice job, guys. And we're just going to be integrating a bunch of provinces here anyway, so. You find horses, you kill them off. Especially if they're enemy horses. You're going the exact one direction I don't want you to go. There you go. <clears throat> kill them off. Go there. And then kill them off. That's how you do it, son. Yes, that's what you want to see. That's what you want to see. Look at that. Nice. Losses? 2,000. They lost quite a few guys already, too. It's awesome. But after this one, um, we're clearing the railways. Not bad. Integrate occupied arsenals. New military factories will be constructed in the following controlled states. So we want to wait for that one. I think we should do this one, too. Zeng's going to retire, though. Let's go into this one, though. Ying Kuo Commercial Development. The port city of Ying Kuo serves as Fengchun's primary gateway to the world and the second largest port in the Bohai Gulf after Japanese control Port Arthur. The tremendous increase in material production in Fengchun demands an equally large investment in commercial infrastructure. Which makes sense. Oh, we're very close to the capital. Look at that. Actually, if you guys could just get over here. Oh! Well, look, it's Poland. Nice job. Go there and circle those guys and kill them off. That'd be really good. Uh, yeah. Wow. Looking like TNO Germany almost somewhat. Oh, that honestly looks not too bad. The Polish state is dead, which is... Some might say it's a good thing, and some uh, some others might say no, but whatever. How much manpower do the Russians have left? Yeah. Oh, they have plenty. They Oh, they have a lot, too. Holy crap. Yeah, we've really decided to butcher these guys over here quite a bit, which is nice.
Urga. We need Urga. Please go to Urga. Saint Cleek. Port Ma. Okay, there you go. Not even going to question it. Finish Army Reform 76. Uh, not many more PP, man. The circle and destroy. That's a, that's a goal, man. We got goals. Honestly, just both go in there. It's fine. <clears throat> it's going a lot better than I thought it would, honestly. Keep these guys in place, because we, we will be attacking them, so. And, like, right now. Keep these guys in place. Straight up, straight up, straight up. They are more than happy to capitulation, which is good to see, but still. Come on. You guys... Oh, we got Riga. Nice. Come on. I want this one to die faster. Nice. Get this one too. Remove backwards industry. Japanese coal. Oh, has research oil... They're not research oil processing? Are you kidding me? Bro, we even researched nuclear stuff already. Japan, you're so far behind. Let me grab that one too. Follow it up with, reclaim the railways, diversify armaments production, gain national legitimacy is probably a good idea. There's more to every institution that meets the eye, and every good warlord builds a stronghold through a network of reciprocal partnerships, negotiated behind closed doors. With the collapse of enemy authority, there are many such individuals and institutions without a clear place in the new order. There's every reason to begin incorporating these individuals into our own networks, where possible. Bro. Go here. Go here. Cut him off. Um... We're not using infantry, so we're going to go ambusher. God dang it, I hate fighting in Mongolia. They're so close to capitulation. They've lost 60,000 people, man. It's not enough, but still. Go up that way. Move, 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 move. Are you close to getting in here yet? I don't want to force the attack, but we're going to do it anyways. Come on, come on, come on. Win before these guys do. So we can circle five divisions. Don't let them retreat. For the love of God, why'd you let them retreat? Why? That's why you just keep hounding them. Hound, 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 hound on them. Harder, harder, harder. You ding-dongs. You literally let them live because you just... That's why we force the attack sometimes, man. Okay, they're gone. Yay! I'm not going to send everyone down here. Instead, I'm just going to send these guys. We just don't have uh, the strength for that. Oh, and there's no border there, huh? All right, so with that in mind, you guys come down here to the Empire of Japan and do that area. That'll be fine with us. Because other than that, like, they're the Code of Prosperity for the National Pacification Army. Once these guys are gone, that'll be great. But well, let's see. We're going to do this one. And more than 30% for Concordia Association. Oh. Manchurian Model says we would like to get that one, too. You know what? Maybe we'll get that one next, if possible. Let me know. Should we do Proclaim the Republic of China? Please let me know in the comments below. But we'll end with... Uh, restore the 1923 Constitution. The 1923 Constitution was widely recognized as China's most modern but sheer corruption of... Uh, Kao Kun's Zili clique made a procl proclamation ring hollow. And its implementation impossible. Since 1928, when Feng has passed the torch of republicanism, the Constitution has remained suspended due to strategic necessity. The time is coming to restore the old Constitution and resume elections. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we integrate more areas of China... And eventually take the fight to Japan. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.